on Monday, we were doing number patterns. And we finished off by looking at those tables. Okay, we did all our tables on Monday. And tonight, I said to you, we're going to go and try a different kind of number patterns. And then we're going to go back and look at tables again. All right, because some of us were saying, oh, ma'am, I got this now. I know how to do it. And some of us were like, oh, I'm still not 100% sure. So we're going to practice doing it again. So we're going to go, go try something different. And then we're going to go back to tables again, guys. So our question says, give the next three terms. So that's the first thing you need to do. You need to look at the number pattern. Give the next three terms. And then B, draw a table of values for the first six natural numbers, all right? And then C, in your own words, describe how the sequence is formed. Guys, we're not gonna do this last one because we are now in grade eight and we practiced this last week, or not last week, sorry, we practiced this on Monday. So you're not gonna do in your own words. What you're gonna do is you're going to do, sorry, T in equals, and you're going to give me the equation. All right, you're gonna go and you're gonna give me the equation. So going over it again, right. You're gonna give me the next three terms, all right. You're gonna draw me a table of values with the, has your six terms in it. And then you're gonna give me the equation. So you're gonna give me the equation. All right, I'm not sure why this, this is also, uh, it doesn't need to be there. All right, so I'm going to do number one with you quickly. So number 3.1 is five. Oh, apologies, it went so dark on my side. I have a bit of load shedding here, guys, but hopefully you can still see my screen. You'll be able to see my face now. Five, 10, and 15. So if I'm looking for the next three terms, if I'm looking for the next three terms, Yolanda, are you going to help me get the next three terms? What are the next three terms, Yolanda? Ma'am, I cannot see the screen, ma'am. You can't see the screen? Okay. Um, Yolanda, maybe perhaps you? can you maybe help her? Yes. I'm helping you. I'm giving you instruction on what to do. I'll send cool. it to you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Andile? Andile, can you maybe give me the next three terms? Uh, Ma'am, to find the next three terms, um, you have to minus uh, fifth. No, you have to think. My uh, check uh, each value by minusing ten minus five, and then say fifteen minus ten, and then you, when you find the rule, you you you. Uh, you check and then if it's like five and then 10, you carry on adding Good. like 15. Good. Good. So I'm going to have 20, 25, and then 30. Do you agree? All right. Thanks, Andita. So my next three terms, what's happening each time? I'm adding five each time. Hey. So my next three terms, I'd have 20, 25, and 30. So that was the first thing. I had to give the next three terms. The next thing they wanted me to do is they wanted me to draw a table, guys. So they wanted me to draw a table next. So I'm going to try and make my table nice and neat for you guys. Let's see if I can make a nice and neat table. Oh, dear. So it's a nice, neat table for you guys so that it's not a mess. Because, of course, you guys are going to put it in with a ruler. Um, all right. So there is my nice, neat table. Okay. All right. Drawn with a ruler, of course. Okay. On the top, because can you guys remember what we did in our last lesson? On the top, we've always got N. So on the top is N, and on the bottom we've got TN here. So on the top is N, and on the bottom we've got TN. All right, so 
on the top, we've got number one, number two, number three, number four, number five, and number six, because they want us to do the first six natural numbers. And we saw that the first term was five, then the second term was 10, the third term was 15, then 20, then 25, and then 50. So I've done A, I did the next three terms. I did B, I put it into a table. I see Siander's asking me, ma'am, we were taught to also describe the pattern in our own words. So absolutely, Siander, of course, that's a relevant question to describe it in your own words. I'm not just, um, saying that it's not. Absolutely, I'm saying that it is. What I want you guys to practice tonight is I want you to practice finding the rule for me. So yes, putting it in your own words is absolutely um, a relevant thing to do. But tonight, we're going to practice putting it into a number pattern, That's into a rule, that's all. All right. So the last thing I want you guys to find now is the rule. All right, so we've gone, we found the next three terms, we put it into a table, and now we need to find the rule, hey? So when we found the rule, remember what we did on Monday, we said to ourselves, we need to write TN equals. All right, what am I doing each time, guys? Good, Omar said so, Omar. What are we doing? We adding five. So we write down straight away five and we put an in. Okay, five and we put an in. Okay, so five and we put an in. All right, so T in equals five and we write in straight away. Then we start with this first block over here. So n is one. So we say five times one. What's five times one? Five times one gives me? What does five times one give you guys? It gives you five, good. So do I need to add anything to that number pattern? Does it need to add anything on there? Remember on Monday we were adding stuff? Nope. So what's the rule for 3.1? The rule is gonna be five in. So the rule will be five in. So 3.1, I picked the easy one to do for you guys. I picked the easy one. The rule was five in. All right. Okay, same applies as we did on Monday night. Okay, I'm gonna give you guys, hmm, let's say three minutes, three minutes. You can choose in those three minutes whether you want to do 3.3 and 3.5 if you can get them done in three minutes, or you can do 3.3 only if you can do three, and or you can do 3.5 only. You have three minutes, go try for me. Go try. Okay, 3.3, go and try 3.3 and 3.5. Go try 3.3 and 3.5 for me. Go give it a try, guys. All right, three minutes. Okay, three minutes. So go try for me first. Soon as you've given it a try, I'm giving you three minutes first. Soon as you've given those three minutes a try, then we will start answering. Okay, so three minutes, guys. You've got two minutes left. We can do this. Remember to write it also on your book before you give it on the chat so we can correct nicely. Absolutely. Thank you, Linda. Yes. Okay, guys, please don't write the answers in the chat. Give everybody a chance to go try, please.
Okay, you got one minute left. Okay, you got one minute. All right, one more minute. All right, so we are trying 5.3 and 5.5. .5. We've got one more minute before we start taking answers. One more minute. All those hands that are up, I hope you guys have done both questions. Please don't put the answers in the chat, guys. Please don't put the answers in the chat. We want to give everybody an opportunity to try. Okay. All right, guys. Let's have a look at how we did. So, Lissetti, are you doing 5.3 or 5.5 with me, Lissetti? I'm, um, I'm, I'm going to do uh, 2.3. 3.3. All right, Lissetti, let's go. So, Lissetti, the first three numbers were four, uh, sorry, four, five, and six. Okay, what were the next three numbers? Ma'am, the next three numbers are seven, eight, and nine. Seven, eight, and nine. Fantastic. Okay, let's do the table together. What needs to be in the top? Ma'am, um, first it's N, and then N. one, two, three, four, five, six. Good. Well done. On the bottom? Ma'am, on the bottom is T, N, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Eight and nine. Well done. Fantastic. Good. Let's do the rule together. Then the rule is um, one in plus three. You are a rock star. Well done. Does this make sense, Miss Eddie? Yes, mm -hmm. You're amazing. Well done. All right. Let's have a look at how Miss Eddie got that number pattern. So he said to himself, okay. What's the difference between each of those numbers? Each time I am adding one. So to get from four to five, I add one. From five to six, I add one. From six to seven, I add one. I'll add one, I add one. So what do I write down straight away? I say one in. Then I go say to myself, okay, I'm gonna go and start over here. So one times by one gives me one. How do I get from the number one to the number four? What must I add to get to four? I must add three. So then I go and check, okay? Two times one, what's two times one? Two times one gives me two, and two plus what will give me five? Two plus three gives me five. Okay, if I go all the way to the number six, six times by one gives me six, and six plus three, what will it give me? It'll give me the number nine. All right, guys, so I'm hoping that that makes sense. I'm hoping that you are remembering the work that we did the other night. So this rule here is the rule. Tn is equal to n plus 3. But if you had it as 1n plus 3, that's also okay. All right. Um, Kyle, I see you say that you have a question. I don't see your hand up, Kyle, but do you want to try and unmute yourself and ask your question, Kyle? Kyle, I'm not sure if you are there. You don't have your hand up. I'm going to try again. All right. Okay, I'm going to move on. All right, so hopefully you've got a screenshot of that. You've got the workings all written out there. Right, let's have a look at the next one. Okay, I'm going to have to erase this, so I've got space for this. Hopefully you've got taken a screenshot of the answer. Let's have a look at the next one, guys. 
Okay. Uh, let's go with Ompa. Ompa, can you hear me? Yes, ma'am. <clears throat> Hi. Are you going to help me with this 3.5? I didn't write it down on the paper, ma'am. Oh, you're writing it on the paper still. Okay, that's fine. Do you want to write it with me while we go? Yeah. Or you want to do it first on the paper? I think it's a good yes. idea, hey? Okay, cool. No problem. All right, guys. Let me mute on that again. Right. Tate, Tate, have you got yours written down? Yes, babe. Okay, Tate, let's go. So my numbers were negative one, one, and three. What's your next number? Uh, five. Good. Then? Seven. Good. And nine. Well done. Let's fill in the table together. Yes, ma'am. So what goes on the top? N. Good. And then? TN. TN. Good. So on the top, I've got one, two, two three. three. Good. Nice. What do I have on the bottom? Um, negative one. Good. One. Good. Ooh. No, three minutes. Good. Well done. Just checking to see if you're watching. Good. <laughs> Five. Five. Good. Seven. Good. Nine. Well done. Nice. Okay. Yes, ma'am. So, let's go. What's my rule going to be? Tn equals. Tate, you're with me. Equals to 2n minus 3. Well done, Tate. 2n yes, minus 3. Well done. Do you want to explain how you got that? Uh, yes, ma'am. Sure, let's go. How did you get it? So first thing I checked, since it's negative 1, I checked what number do you, what number do you have to subtract to go to, no, what number do you have to add to go to positive one? Since when you add, you go to the right, and when you minus, you go to the left. Well done. And what number so did you add? I added two, that's two. Well done. You're amazing. Well done. Cool. Yes, ma'am. So then you went and you put a two here, huh? Yes, ma'am. Good. All right. So then how did you get... You know what everyone's asking? How did you find the negative three then? I found the negative three by just saying one. I mm -hmm. wanted to check how, since it's positive one, I I decided to do a number line and check okay. and check how many spaces does it take to go to negative one and it gave me three. Negative three. Well done. Well done. Well done, Tate. I'm really proud of you. Well done. That one's a hard one. So well done. Yes, ma'am. Okay, guys, so if you got that one correct, well done. So Tate was saying, he said one times by two gives him two. How did he get from two to negative one? He went and drew a number line. I love a number line. I think it's so clever to do that one that way. So he went to negative one and he tried to work out. How do you get from negative one all the way to two? Okay, you count three spaces, right? So he said one times by two gave him two. How do you get from two all the way to negative one? You must minus three. Well done, Tate. That's amazing. Well done. Well done. All right. Let's have a look at another way that they could ask us to do number patterns. Let's have a look at another way tonight that they could ask us to do number patterns, guys. Okay. Hopefully you've got that down. Hopefully you've got a screenshot. If you did get the answer wrong, all right, or you're busy writing down the answer, Okay, I'm going to move the screen down a little bit. You can still be able to see 3.5. All right. Okay. All right, so hopefully you've taken a screenshot of that one, guys. Okay, so the question says, a formula for calculating the wholesale price of muffins is eight rand per muffin plus three rand. 
write down a form of a cut. I'm sorry. Write down the right. Write the rule for this calculation. So selling price equals something times by muffins plus something else, where m is the number of muffins. So I'm going to read it again. A formula for calculating the wholesale price of muffins is 8 rand per muffin plus 3 rand. Write the rule for this calculation. Selling price is equal to something times by m plus something, where m is the number of muffins. Okay, where m is the number of muffins. So, who is going to help me out here? I'm still seeing quite a few hands up, so I'm just going to drop them quick. Right, who's going to help me out with this question? Who's got an answer or thinks that they might know what to do here? All right, Motabang. How do I yeah. answer this? Hi. Okay, ma'am, so the selling price is, I think it's eight rent. Times the number of muffins plus Good. three rent. Well done. Nice. Well done. That is perfect. Well done. Okay. 7.1.2 says calculate the price paid for 10, okay, 15, um, 25, 50, 60, and 100 muffins. Oh my goodness. So now we have to calculate the price paid for one, two, three, four, five, six different numbers there. I think the easiest way for us to do that, we've got the formula here. We've got the formula. They've given us some numbers there. Um, do I already have a table up there that maybe I can go and put this into? Yeah, we do. Hey? So I'm going to use this little table that I've got up here. I'm going to say here that this is my muffins and this is my selling price. So they've asked me to calculate the price paid for 10 muffins or 15 muffins or 25 muffins or 50 muffins or 60 and for 100. Guys, can you see how useful the table can be? I know that a few of us on Monday were like, ma'am, no ways our tables come into my mouth. Like I don't like the tables. All right, guys, tables can be super, super helpful especially when you're doing number patterns because they make it so much clearer for what you're actually doing. Okay, so have a look. You've got the rule. There's the selling price, eight times N plus three, right? Now I've given it to you in a nice table. Go draw the table out for yourself and go get me some answers. All right, I'm going to give you two minutes to fill in the answers in the table. Two minutes, go have a look. Two minutes. Go try, two minutes. Okay, one minute left. Please don't put your answers in the chat. Okay, one minute left. I really think that the grade eights are going to rock at number patterns. By the time you guys get to exams at the end of the year, you're going to be amazing at these. Definitely they will. I love my people. They know what they're doing. Well done, guys. Oh, probably about 30 seconds left, guys. Let's see. Sunyana, you have had your hand up the whole time. Do you want to help me out here? Hello, ma'am. Hi. Are you ready? Yes, ma'am. Okay, let's go. What happens if I have 10 muffins? How much am I going to pay? 
83 rand. Well done. So I'm going to put a rand sign because it's money, like you said. 83 rand. Well done. What about 15? Uh, 123 rand. Amazing. 25? 203 rand. Good. 50? 403 rand. Good. Well done. 60? 483 rand. 283 rand. And a thousand. A, a thousand? I mean a hundred, sorry. Oh, just testing. 800, to get your 803 yeah. rand. Just checking, just checking. Thank you. <laughs> well done. Is this easy? Sunyana, you didn't answer me. Is this easy? Guys, this is easy maths. Hey? This is maths lit. All right, some practice. So if you're going to choose maths lit as a subject, all right, this is some nice maths lit practice. Okay, so we're taking words and we're putting it into maths. Okay, all right, 7.2. A cell phone company charges one rand fifty per minute plus 75 rand connection fee per month. All right. Calculate how much Susie paid for his phone calls in the following months. All right. March, if she talks for 83 minutes. April, if she talks for 62 minutes. May, if she talks for 44 minutes. So I'm asking you really nicely here, please don't put the answers in the chat yet. Please don't put the answers in the chat yet. What I'd like you to do is I'd like you to go for two minutes. Okay, this time I haven't done the number pattern or the rule with you. Try and work out the rule for yourself first and then go do the answers. Okay, so you've got two minutes to go answer those three for me. Try work out a rule, see if that helps you first. If it doesn't, you can just go straight into it as well, but go try work those ones out. Okay, two minutes. Feel like we need some like countdown music. Do 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 do. Okay, one minute. All right. Okay, let's have a look at this question. Let's read it through again one last time. So, a cell phone company is charging one rand fifty per minute. In other words, you're on the phone every minute that you're on the phone, they charge you one rand fifty. Okay, plus seventy five rand per month. So it doesn't matter how many calls you make during the month, they're gonna charge you seventy five rand before you even pick up the phone. Okay. Calculate how much Susie's paying for the phone calls in the following month of March if she talks for 80 minutes. All right. So, Lissetti, you have had your hand up since the beginning, probably 30 seconds into it. Lissetti, talk to me. What do you need to do for 7.2.1? Mom, so my rule was, um, uh, uh, I said um, 150, one, 150 cents times the the minutes the 75 rand well done good so 150 yeah. times by the minutes plus the 75 rand can we say is equal to like the cost would that help yes awesome well done okay so let's go do 7.2.1 how did you get that ma'am i said 80 times yeah. uh 150, okay. and then i added it by and then it gave me 270. So you said 150 times by 80 plus 75 gives you what altogether in total? 
270. Okay, so 1.5. I completely believe you. I'm just doing it on my calculator as well. Plus 75. I get rand 195 wow. rand. Do it again. Do it again. Do one rand 50. Mum, I think I did 80 times one round 50. Yeah, do 80 times 150 gives you 120. Okay. Plus 75. Oh, oh, now I see. Ah, mustn't forget. Okay. So even though she's paying the um 150 for her phone calls, if, if she talks for 80 minutes, remember she still has to pay 75 rent to connect. Okay, yeah. Does it make sense? Yes, ma'am. Okay, cool. All right. Do you want to try number two with me, though? Yes, ma'am. Okay, so that was number one. Right, try number two with me. What have I got to say for number two? 150 times by? 62. 62, good. Plus? Uh, 75. Good. So, 150 times 62 plus 75. What do you get? Um, 168. I mean, well 100, done. yeah, you're right. 168 rand. Well done. Nice. Right. And the last one? Uh, the last time the answer is 141. 141. Okay. I believe you. I'm just checking. Just checking. 140. One. You are amazing. Well done, Lissetti. Well done. Well done. Okay, well done, guys. All right. Well done. Okay, so that takes us to the end of a different way that they can ask it to you. So if they ask it to you in words, that's a different way to they ask it. When they ask it to you in words, all right, and you have to put it into math. Right, now we're going back to practice a little bit what we did on Monday for those of us that are still not sure. Guys, tonight is your quiz. Tonight is your quiz and tonight's quiz is on number patterns. Tonight's quiz is on number patterns. So that's why I wanna make sure that we have got this number pattern thing down, that you understand exactly what is going on. So when you go and do your quiz that you can get 100% first time. So that when teacher Sam does your quiz results on Monday, that that list is going to be so long that she's going to spend like the first 10 minutes reading all your names. Okay, so let's go. Let's go try this one. All right. So 2.1, go and have a look at that. Go and have a look at 2.1 for me. All right. I want you guys to try it first. I'm going to bring up 2.1 and 2.2 for me. All right. Um, I'm going to answer Ompa's question while you guys are doing 2.1 and 2.2. Ompa has asked me, ma'am, why is there no brain break anymore? Ompa, because I am doing your Beat the Basics class and we are in Beat the Basics for the holidays. Unfortunately, we are trying to get in as much as we can for the holidays. And there we go. Um, Tim Swallow has explained it to you because it is holidays. That's why. As soon as teacher Sam is back on Monday, she will be doing your brain break with you on Monday. There you go. Okay. All right, so 2.1, there's 2.1, there's 2.2. Remember, try and do them both. Try and do them both. All right, I am going to take the um, question or um, take somebody who wants to answer. Right. Let's have a look and give you one more minute. One more minute. Oh, I put a decimal in this first one for you as well. 2.1's got a decimal. We haven't done one with a decimal before. Okay, one more minute. And then you guys can tell me which one you want to do 2.1 or 2.2 with me. One more minute. All right. 
please. Okay, I see one hand up. Is there anyone else who maybe wants to try? I see one hand up. I know I haven't given you very long, but I see one hand up. Anyone else who wants to give it a try? Number 2.1 or 2.2. .2. Oh, I see two hands up now. There we go. Right. Okay, Tando. Which one do you want to do with me? 2.1 or 2.2? .2? Um, 2.1. 2.1, Tando. Okay, cool. Let's go, Tando. Talk to me. What are we doing first? Um. So what are we subtracting each time, Tando, from the bottom here? What are we subtracting each time? Um, we are subtracting, uh, what is it, um, 0, 0.5. You got this, well done, nice. Minus 0, 0.5, minus 0, 0.5, minus 0, 0.5. Well done. So I'm going to write Tn equals negative 0, 0.5, and I'm going to put an N here. Happy so far? Yes, ma'am. Okay, cool. So now. How do I get from saying one times by negative 0, 0,5, which gives me negative 0, 0,5, all the way to 2, 0, 0,5? What do I do? You agree that maybe I need to add three. Yes, ma'am. Does it make sense? Yes, it makes sense. Should we check? Should we check, Tando? Yes, Should we check? Yes, yeah, let's go check. Let's go do this one. Let's go say four. Have you got a calculator there on you? Yes, ma'am. Okay, on your calculator, go say four times by negative 0, 0,5. What does it give you? Uh, negative two. Negative two, good. And negative two plus three, what's negative two plus three? Um, one. It gives you one, amazing. So does the rule work? Yes, ma'am. Awesome, so let's go fix this one. Let's go fix this one over here, okay. They've given me N, hey? Do you agree that this number here, 10, is in the same row as the n. So instead of seeing n, Tundra, what am I going to see instead? I'm going to see 10, hey? Yes, 10. Okay, so remember we did this together the other day, you and I. We said t, 10 is equal to negative 0, 0,5. What am I going to see instead of seeing n? I'm going to see 10, hey? Yes plus five, plus three. Right, on that calculator of yours. Put that sum in for me on your calculator. What does it give you, Tundor? Eight, ma'am. It gives you eight, well done. Positive eight or negative eight? I'm positive eight. Are you sure? Maybe do it once more for me. So negative 0, 0,5 times by 10 plus 3. Uh, negative 8, ma'am, yes. Gives you negative, should give eight. you negative 2, hey? Mm -hmm. Double, double check, negative 2, hey? It's so it should be giving you, that's okay, negative 2. All right. Okay. So now, thank you so much, Tando, for your help. I really appreciate it. Okay, so now, guys, now we're going to go fill in this one over here. So what have they given me? 
They've given me negative 25, and that's in this row over here. That's Tn. So instead of seeing Tn, what am I going to see instead? I'm going to see 20. I'm going to see 25. So 25 equals negative 0, 0,5n plus 3. Right, what am I going to do now? I'm going to take this 3 to the other side. Hey? When I take them to the other side, what's going to happen? I'm going to say 25 minus 3. So 25 minus 3 is equal to negative 0, 0,5 n. 25 minus 3 gives me 22 equals negative 0, 0,5 n. And then on my calculator, I'm going to say 22 divided by negative 0, 0,5. All right. Oh, and I have made a mistake and nobody has told me. Guys, what's happening? Thank you, Chantal. Well done. Chantal, thank you. It should have been negative 25. Negative 25. Thank you, Chantal. So this should be negative 28. Thank you, you guys. All right. Negative 28 divided by negative 0, 0,5. Guys, what's negative 28 divided by negative 0, 0,5? What's that on your calculator? Negative 28 divided by negative 0, 0,5. What's that on your calculator? What's negative 8 divided by negative 0, 0,5? What is it? What is it? It should be 56. Good. So n is going to be equal to 56. Well done. N equals 56. N equals 56. Well done. Okay. I saw some people were saying, ma'am, please explain again. I don't understand. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to explain 2.2 to you. Okay. So I'm going to explain 2.2 from scratch, from the beginning to you so that you can completely understand. So make sure you are paying attention to those people who are saying to me, ma'am, I don't understand. All right. Are you ready? So from scratch, from the beginning, let's go. First thing I want to do is I want to see what's happening each time. How do I get from negative 5 to negative 8, from negative 8 to negative 11, from negative 8, 11 to negative 13? Well, from negative 5 to negative 8, I'm minusing 3. From negative 8 to negative 11, I am minusing 3. And I can already tell you that there's a small mistake in this question because this should be. All right. And from negative 11 to negative 14 is minus 3. Hey, so each time what's happening, I am minusing 3. Okay, so um, each time I'm minusing 3. All right, so straight away, I'm going to go say to myself, well, Tn is equal to minus 3, because that's what's happening each time. Guys, remember, we practice this. Minus 3, and I put an n. Then I go say to myself, all right, I'm going to start here at the number 1. 1, okay, 1 times by negative 3 gives me negative 3. How do I get from negative 3 to negative 5? What do I need to do to get from negative 3 to negative 5? I need to subtract 2. So then I go and I check. Okay, so I look at my, my next one and I see, I see I've got the number 2. 2 times by negative 3 gives me negative 6. And negative 6 minus 2 gives me negative 8. I can check again. 3 times by negative 3 gives me negative 9. And negative 9 minus 2 gives me negative 11. And I can keep going and I can check. But now I've checked three times and that definitely gives me the right answer. So the next thing I'm looking for now is I'm looking to replace this question mark over here. So here is the 10. The 10 is in the same row where the n is, guys. So now, instead of seeing n, what am I going to see instead? I'm going to put a 10 in there. I'm going to say t to the 10 is equal to negative 3 
instead of seeing an n, I'm going to see 10 minus 2. I put that into my calculator and I get negative 32. So here, go and fill this in, negative 32. The next one that I'm now missing is this negative 47. That's in the same row as the TN, guys. So instead of seeing TN now, what am I going to see instead? I'm going to see negative 47 is equal to negative 3N minus 2. What do I need to do? I need to bring the numbers to one side, and I need to bring the letters to the other side. So I've got negative 47. I bring the negative 2 to the other side, and it's plus 2 equals negative 3n. This gives me negative 45 equals negative 3n. Divide both sides by negative 3, and I get n equals 15. So here I put a 15. 